So in today's video, I built a paint booth. Isn't that amazing? We're gonna paint the frame, install the suspension, and a lot more. So watch along, and leave a like, and a subscribe if you're new to the channel. So as you just saw, we got done with the paint booth and set all this up. It, it was it was really easy, it took like five minutes. It's amazing, and now we don't have overspray on everything, you know? Now over here, I got an amazing package that I wanna show you guys. Now I already opened it, cause I was so excited. Like, I was so excited to see what it was. This is a fan or a viewer or a follower of Instagram, if you will, that sent me all this stuff. Basically, I said in an older YouTube video that I didn't have any American sized tools and Fernando from Instagram hooked it up. So we got a socket set. We got a wrench, we got some more top tier, we got standards, we got, I mean, we got everything you need to build a classic car. This build gonna be so much easier now. So thank you so much to Fernando, I'll put his Instagram right here, definitely go check him out, man. He's an amazing dude who also has a 71 a Firebird, 71 or 72. Let, let me know right now, because uh, I just forgot right now. I literally just been on your page, but yeah, never mind. <laughs> We're gonna be using a VHT paint. This is gonna be an epoxy paint, which can stand up to 250 Fahrenheit. It's gonna be enough for the frame. Uh, we're gonna lay like two small coats and then uh, we're gonna use the rest of the paint that we have left. Gonna give it probably like a heavy coat or whatever. So guys, we are already starting to installing some suspension power. So the suspension we're gonna run with, first of all, are the upper control arms from SPC Performance. Uh, they are adjustable control arms for the F-Body and they are freaking awesome. I mean, amazing. And then we got some BMR uh, suspension hardware is uh, sync coded. So here it is guys, the suspension is installed. This is just a quick mock-up to like check out, you know, where we need clearance and stuff, because I think there's something about uh, on the F bodies if you have like lowering springs, and I do have two inches uh, lowering springs over there. Uh, you need to run like some spaces or shims in here. I got that told by a good friend on on Instagram that uh, you need some spaces right there uh, for the ball joint or whatever. So we'll look into that. But basically, yeah, we got a custom extended ball joint that is a, a lot longer than the original one. And then it's pro force and all nice, you know, we got a nice new technology bearing that we also use in modern cars. Then we have the beautiful, and I gotta say, beautiful control arm from a SPC Performance. And uh, basically we got, you know, the BMR hardware, because uh, the arms doesn't come with the hardware for the cross for, for the shaft right here. And so we needed that. Now, one problem is, as, as I see it right now, uh, there's an angle to the arm, like this side is shorter than uh, this side right here. And this pivot bolt right here, it has to go to the front and then you have this angle on the, the mounting spot for the ball joint. So I'm kind of thinking over here that I got two arms for the right. So if you guys are ever buying any of these SPC's arms, uh, I was first very confused because I got two a right arms if you will where it was angled as it was a right arm if you know what I mean 
So basically, the easy thing you can do to flip them around uh, to make one of the arms a left arm because you can see there's a difference between them and there's also an angle to the ball joint. Now the easiest thing to do is basically just take out the two pivot balls right here and then you can literally flip the thing and then install the ball joint uh, afterwards. Then you have, you know, re reverse the angle of the arm. So that's pretty easy. So what I'm gonna try now is uh, to mark up the steam box over here on the frame out here, which is the one we have laying right there. Where we also got some awesome new sink hardware and I got it all restored and paint, you know. Now we also got the steam box on, looking real damn nice. Uh, I'm thinking about uh, getting some sync hardware for the arms here, because that would just be that, that would just look dope uh, to have like you know, sync hardware and the steering, sync hardware, uh, you know, freaking everywhere. So I think this is gonna include everything for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe down below if you guys are new. Now a few updates I want to tell you real quick right here is I am working on some merchandise actually that we're gonna. It provides to you guys soon, you know, some t-shirts with some cool drawings slash logos on of the car uh, at its current stage, if you will, you know, with the formula look and silver. Probably gonna update the merch in the future because this is gonna be a more race car looking thing. But uh, for now, this is, this is, this is, this video, eh? So yeah, thank you guys for watching and uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this beautiful piece. This is so awesome seeing this coming together. Uh, next video we're gonna be talking about some suspension and also installing uh, the rest of the suspension except the lower arms and Actually, uh, maybe also not the spindles too, but then we will install like the, the steering the pitman arm the the shocks and a few other cool things So uh, stay tuned for the next video. There's gonna be some awesome content for you guys uh, coming soon because uh, Things are starting to look like a car again, which is really awesome because uh, for like over two months or something now, the, the car has been, you know, bare bones and pretty much just a firewall sitting in the shop. But now getting the frame back on, getting the frame aligned and stuff, you know, getting back at it, you know, like in probably a month or so, we're going to have all the suspension on, have it on wheels and are able to roll the car around and stuff. Uh, by the way, the reason why I am doing this right now instead of doing the, the firewall stop up there is because then I can drop it down, roll it out the shop, and then we can sandblast the whole thing because I literally gave up on, uh, on like, you know, grinding all this down. It's it's honestly impossible. There are so many crevices, small areas and places you can't get in with your hands. It's it's just impossible. So we'll have to make some kind of a sandblaster machine for that, I guess. So thank you so much for, uh, again, for the package, Fernando. It's, it's just amazing that uh, followers are willing to go out of their way and spend money and stuff like that and send it all the way to Denmark, 8,000 kilometers over here for me to be building this old car, you know, it, that's just amazing. I, it, it's really awesome that you can connect like this through social media, which you couldn't in the older days, so that's really amazing.